good day everyone so today we have uh, the title about about in forms actually there are there are so so many kinds of in form that let me let me try explain some of them here at least give me some suggestion if I haven't mistaken in, in my explanation here and hopefully yeah some of you will be refair and also uh, tell, tell what, what is the info of of our discussion here so let's talk about the first one the first form of inform is progressive progressive verb or auxiliary verbs the example is I'm doing my homework I'm doing my homework so am do the one this thing in inform is called a progressive verb means that the activity is continu continuous so it's called a uh, progressive verb in in an inform so the second form of of inform is called gerund gerund could be as a subject uh, and also an object but here I, I like to explain a gerund form in 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 a subject so let, let me let me explain let me say the example first the writing is an important skill here even even the word write out of inform but because of the position of of the word right in the first sentence and also it's form in inform so it's called a gerund writing is an important skill so it's different in first sentence i'm doing so yeah, because in the first sentence those consists one a sub, uh, subject first and then followed by to be also the thing but here uh, in the first in the first sentence in the in the beginning of a sentence is consists of a writing the word kind of writing so it's called is a gerund so next next form of of a gerund form is in an object so be careful here because it's so it's so difficult to to know when it's called as a gerund and also when when it's called as a progressive verb or, or continuous tense so let me give one example to make it clear he uh, he other avoids answering his phone so uh, how do we know it's called object of Jaren <coughs> depends on the word avoids uh, but before this before the the word answering there is no to be so so it's called it's called a gerund 
it's not worth it's it's called none because uh, before before the word answering it can tease up the word avoid this is called the differences between a gerund as an object and also a present progressive or continuous so the last the last poem of inf that i want to tell you is uh, after preposition so let, let me let me tell you the example to make it easy clearer they complained about driving in a rush hour so uh, here before the word the word driving we can hear the word about so it's called uh, inform after preposition about about is called a preposition so yeah that's that uh, that's my explanation about inform today uh, let, let me tell you a uh, gerund is is a birth that has a function as a noun so thank you